It's been said that a person is only as good as their tools. Okay, say cheese. Cheese. Boy, it's blurry. Uh, is this the iPhone 7? While this can be true, it's also been said that a bad workman blames his tools. It's, it's just not good. Oh my God, you're being I'm so not going to work under these conditions. So which one is it? Truth be told, as artists, we constantly find ourselves limiting our skills to the resources we have available. But we forget that as long as we have these tools, even in their most basic form, we can still create. So what's stopping us? A few months ago, we had all these projects lined up and as soon as quarantine happened, we were really bummed to see it all stop. After a few weeks, we became desperate to get back into production, but we convinced ourselves that it was impossible to create professional content with limited resources. But is it impossible? Do we really need the best tools to achieve the best results? So we decided to challenge ourselves by using what we already have, which is a couple lights, a camera, and our creativity to create a commercial for the most inanimate object in a house. A pen. Are you happy you got that out of the way? Very happy. Sell me this pen. Behold, the pen that we'll be using as our model, the big pen. Not sponsored. We'll be documenting our entire journey from pre to post so that you guys can see behind the scenes. You ready? Yep. I just think we need to call someone first. Justin Jones, a good friend and an incredible cinematographer. We've worked on countless music videos and product commercials. His ability to maximize his resources on any budget is perhaps one of his most impressive talents. So, we decided to call him up for some pointers. You need to make what you have at hand work. Like at the base of my career, we took whatever we had and made it work. And because of that, I think I'm a stronger creative and filmmaker. What would be your advice on getting the most cinematic shots with the, the equipment that we have? I really like for product shots going wide and tight, putting a wide lens on, but getting up close. And that's gonna make the product feel a lot larger than life. You can make it epic if you're at a lower angle on the product and you push in, and then it comes down to lighting the product. What I do with most of my products is a soft overhead light. You just do that, that kind of just gives you that nice fall off. As the light hits the product, it kind of falls off into darkness on the bottom. And then I like to put a hard backlight that gives it that nice back edge. Nothing's set in stone. So really just kind of play with it, have fun, and move stuff around until you get what you want. Do you have any key suggestions for people who are going off on their own to try independent filmmaking? So it really doesn't matter what camera you have or lights you have or whether they're professional or novice level, find the gear that you have and just go do it. Go fail a couple times, figure out what works. When you find something that doesn't work, scratch that off your list so you don't make that same mistake again and then, you know, copy and paste. So I think you guys should go out and do it. Thank you. Mm, that's yeah. really helpful. Thank you so yeah. much. Yeah, thanks for having me, guys. Yeah. I'm glad As usual, our production will be set in three stages of pre-production, production, and post. Although most projects tend to start with a script, we felt that we needed to start by finding our song. What is a pen, Tiffany? A pen is something you write with. No. with me if you ride with me, you slide with me if you When you look at this pen, what do you, what do you see? see? You see I a see pen. Let's <laughs> try this. No, 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 Tiffany. No, wait, wait, wait. Look, listen. <laughs> yeah. So now that we've picked the song, we're gonna go into the writing phase. And what we're gonna do is I'm gonna be editing the music while Tiffany's writing, and we're gonna be bouncing ideas off of each other. You write your destiny. What would the question to you write your destiny be? Don't look at me like no, that. No, no, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. This is me thinking. So our inspiration is an Apple brand commercial. So although we are showcasing this product, we really want to represent the brand and showcase the thematic values that the company may hold. Yeah, we want to really make the audience feel emotional after watching it. We want to make them feel inspired. Just imagine, what would the world look like if we weren't afraid to rewrite our stories? So, I like that. Although it's something simple and we use it every day, it does represent creativity. You can do just about anything creatively with a pen. So this is, it all starts here and that's what we wanted to write about. To draw outside the lines. To compose the songs inside our hearts. Shot listing. Normally, especially when we were editing like these videos and we're like missing filming some things, we just put like text like shot of blah, blah, blah. I mean, if we were pitching this to a client, we'd obviously handle it very different. We would really break it down a lot more, but since it's just the two of us, I think there's, you know. I personally really liked the idea of moving in on some way. Like, and 
question. Transitions are very important in this. Oh, I'm not sure how we're gonna light this. Maybe that will work. <laughs> I think what may be the toughest thing is to figure out the transition. Maybe this will all be for nothing. I am tracing this because one of the shots requires drawing outside the lines. And uh, the only thing I really kind of even know how to draw is an eye, so. Trying to figure out a way to wire this piece of pen to these fishing wires, which are very short. A few moments later. One eternity later. <laughs> so much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. I did it! It happened! I'm gonna go back in here and try to figure out how to do it. I need this camera so I won't be shooting the behind the scenes. Good? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's bad? <laughs> okay, so that shot doesn't work. This fucking sucks, dude. It's a complete mess out here. Last night was very late. We couldn't figure out how we're gonna go about this. And so we had to rewrite. A black backdrop didn't work, so maybe a white one will work. Here we go. Ugh. Such an ugly shot. I think the opening should maybe just be opening a notebook. And this is when things started to move. It's also here that we began to establish the visual story that we would be telling. We have a coffee, we have a nice office table. Tiffany's hands come in and it transitions us into the next scene. Next shot. The next shot is the composing shot. So we're gonna be using this gimbal once again. We're gonna go through here, transition in, look at the pen, up into the conducting motion, and then a quick swoop up that will transition us into the last part of the video. Oh my, I'm so sorry, honey. Yeah, give me a sec. Oh my God, it hurts so bad. If you're filming this for YouTube, that just shows you how sick you are. Wait, should, you should, can you step in the light? We decided to go with the practical light to source our whole scene. We're gonna start with flipping the page. You're gonna see the word imagine. We're gonna start off with the 35 mil. And you're gonna see me writing, then you're gonna go in, which is when we're gonna switch to the 55 mil. And then we're gonna see me rip the page or something. I don't know, we'll see the transition. And then transition out. We just added a backlight outside to give it color contrast. Given that the building next door actually has that blue, it inspired us to do the teal. So this next shot is Tiffany's gonna be drawing this. So we're gonna be here. We're gonna be using the gimbal to go up from it and then around her neck to kind of transition into the next scene. All that we're using to light this scene is this light, the softbox to kind of create once again that moody feel. To figure out our last shot, we reversed our first shot and noticed that it looks pretty cool. So that inspired us to change our ending a little. We come out. What would the world look like if we weren't afraid to? And end it like that. We're in love with ending our things how we begin them. It's here. a bookend, get it? It's a bookend. Same beginning, same ending. Last shot! We're gonna be using once again our softbox using the 35 and the gumball. I stink. Yeah. And we're finally done shooting. It was a lot of trial and error. I would say that yeah. the way that we really were able to get everything was by testing a million different ways, failing at it. And then when something didn't work, we had to come up with really creative ways to make it work. So now we're gonna go into editing and see what happens there. Let's start editing. We started by plugging in the footage and then brought it over to After Effects to blend all the shots and their transitions. The goal here is to make everything seamless and make it appear like one shot. Once that was done, we moved it over to coloring, adjusted everything, and then... Sell me this pen. Voila. What would you do 
if you weren't afraid? What if the thought of failure didn't exist? What if your wildest dreams could become reality? Just imagine, what if we weren't afraid to rewrite our stories, to draw outside the lines, to compose the songs inside our hearts? What would the world look like if we weren't afraid to create our own destiny? And that was a pain commercial, or so we think. We tried. It just really reminded us that we didn't need the big budget and all the resources in the world in order to ultimately do what we wanted to do. And at the end of the day, all we want to do is create. So to answer the question, do we need the best tools in order to get the best results? You be the judge of that. Yeah. Let us know down below your thoughts, and we hope you tune in for the next one. So we're starting a movement to get this commercial out there. If you liked it or believe in it, Let's start a hashtag. What should the hashtag be? Tiff and Roy's Bick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.